My recent situation has unfortunately turned out to be one that I found hard to understand. I often hear my housemates refer to me as dead girl when they talk about me these days, even when I am standing in their midst. I disagree with that. I don't feel dead in any way. Right, well, I have looked at your online application and have no reason to refuse your application for accommodation. If you could please sign on the back. And if you have any questions, then please ask. Thank you, Miss West. Oh, luckily, there's a vacant room in a share council flat about a mile away from here. Can I move in there today? Sure. Oh, hang on. Is his here that all four homeless people allocated there moved out within two or three days after the death of one of the roommates that resided there? Sounds like the place is contagious to me. Not according to this report. So tell me something, why did all these people move out so fast? Well... It says here that they all reported mysterious activities within the flat, which makes no sense at all. Look, Miss West, I'll accept any government accommodation from now until I get another job. I don't care even if I share with the devil. I've been in the army five years. Hello. Is this Mr. Patrick Balaji? Yes, Patrick Balaji here. This is Miss West from the Borough Council. Are you still in need of emergency accommodation? Yes, my eviction, uh, my eviction notice expires tomorrow. So right now I'm moving my things. Well, we now have a vacant room for you in a shared council flat. When could you come and pick up the key? Right now, tomorrow, any time. Okay, can you come in tomorrow then, about midday? Oh, make my day, Miss West. Thank you very much. I like you very much. <laughs> I have also come to realize that I can now move from one place to another within a flash through teleportation, be at two places at the same time and now filled with unlimited knowledge I never had.
Hello, stranger. Your room is so dark. Do you like it that way? How does that concern you, Patrick? It's my private area. I'm sorry, Maya. And I respect that. What can I do for you? And no questions about the tenant and how she died here, okay? Now, how did you know I had that question on my mind? There is no point in telling you, Patrick, since you always believe what's authentic to be weird and what's dreamlike to be authentic. Okay, uh, it's all right. Uh, I'm gonna fix myself a cup of tea. Would you like one too? me a cup too. <laughs> You're <just> creepy. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you.